All right. All right. Starting with Havencraft. Heavenly Aegis. What do we think? Well, you can't kill it. Um, it's just you can't interact with it in any way. Well, it's good for because then they can't just guardian sun it. But I mean, it's like a really good finisher. It's like scary, big, and and it'll kill someone really quickly if they don't have many wards. But uh, I guess it's nice just because now Haven doesn't just lean on Seraph the entire time for a finisher, and they can actually play like a different type of deck. Is Variety's there, always good. Is there any other like cards that? change attack and defense other than that forest thing that minus is 10 not that i know of not off the top of my head i think but, there was uh, one there must be a few right? card that's coming out soon was that forest thing is that forever what was that called or again? just for one turn i can't remember but yeah it's not gonna be relevant i'm sure i think it, i'm pretty sure it's permanent <clears throat> That pretty... would be a beating, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, maybe <laughs> people will pl start playing this as a tech card, but I think uh... probably not. <laughs> like it's still really slow, and it's like playing Mordecai like... without Neff, right? Yeah, it's just kind of like you're rawing it. But I mean, Haven might have better anti-aggro options compared to it's definitely compared to good end game. Like, a, gives your deck kind of infinite range right yeah yeah i can really i powerful. can see this circled by a bunch of healers yeah like you play this card and you play like a bunch of heals and you're like yo buddy what are you gonna do like it's <laughs> so like haven's already really good at playing defensive games right and like i don't know giving them this is a pretty nice finisher tool but i think this is like why people, I don't know why people shit on Zeus so much. I think this card is like. I think like Zeus will probably be actually kind of decent because this card exists. Like it's like a, they'll survive a hit from the thing. And uh, more than yeah. he said for like most creatures. But yeah, so I, I think people can are underrating Zeus, Zeus a little bit because just because this thing's a thing. This thing is a thing. In the game, <laughs> but I don't know. I think this card is obviously very good, and uh, it's nice to I have. Mean, I mean, I, I, I don't look forward to playing. I don't look forward to playing against this card. Yeah, like that's the thing. If when someone drops this, what do you, what do you do? Right, you just start racing them. It's because... off to the races. Yeah, yeah. Better Get kill your them. storm heroes. Out. Like, what can you do? Yeah. Which is but this thing, very scary. But like, like Death's Breath is insane against this card, right? Like, there's cards that yeah, are good true. against this card. Like, it's just like, it's still, in the end, it's just a mindless beater. It's not like it's yep. not Vampire broken. It's just a big ass beater. Yeah. Which is like, and a slow one which is at that. Slow, big beater. Okay. Big meat beater. Lots of meat, lots of beats. Dark Gian, six mana, five five. Deal two Dark damage. Dark Gian. G Gian. <laughs> what do you want me to say? It's like, it's like Joan of Arc. It's like Jean or something like that. It's like Gian, <laughs> though. Come on. Okay, next time you're reading the card. <laughs> oh, no, you're you're welcome to. It, it adds comedy. Okay, deal comedy two video. damage to all other followers, then give plus two to all other followers. Okay, so anything it doesn't kill gets stronger. <laughs> even even for the opponents. It's kind of weird. It just does it to everything. And like I mean It's nice to have board clears, man. right? If if like yeah. if, if you have amulets down. Competing with Themis though. True. Yeah, and, but, but it is a six mana five five. It's pretty it, big. It feels like this is something that would go in a more uh, early to mid range Haven, which might also have Heavenly Aegis, where it's like it's not about like uh, amulets. It's more about just having creatures. But I don't think I would. 
I would see I could see this in like maybe the Alana's Prayer deck, just because Alana's Prayer just constantly puts their makes their creatures huge, and I don't know. This is just kind of like a way to make them even huger. Yeah, I wouldn't. I don't think this would be in the same deck as in Heaven, Heaven Heavenly Ages. It just seems really. Um, you're just trying to do two different things, I think. This card in Heavenly Ages. Well, it is it really is. well costed, and the effect is strong. Yes, the effect is indeed strong. Um, but when do you play this over Themis, right? It's kind of if you're trying to be more aggressive, I feel like, right? Because if you're just playing a defensive control deck, Themis seems like a safer pick, right? I'd actually say a good comparison is Mahi's. Uh, it's kind of a similar ability, right? Well, Mahi's is a forest, it's not... Yeah, but I mean, you don't have to play two creatures before it to still do two damage to everything. Yeah. And you also get other effects. You lose the ward, but... It was really... Uh, Could be good. I think really it's nice. good in, like, Alana's Prayer, and then maybe... Stormhaven. Because Stormhaven has big creatures. I, I don't know, this card is... I think this card is like good, but I don't, I just don't really. It, it needs a get very weird. specific circumstance, yeah, I just don't know right? Who would gonna play it? I just don't know. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I think it's good. Let's go next card. All right, eight mana amulet. Countdown three. When you play it, deal two damage to everything. Uh, when it expires, put three Satan cards in your hand. Um. Right, so if you play this turn eight, and you get the cards on after your turn ten, right? On your turn eleven. If you don't reduce the countdown, yeah. Right? You don't, yeah, if you don't power it through. I don't know, I feel like this. if you're going to play this card, you should just play Satan, I feel like. It's kind of slow. It's another AOE two, two damage. damage. Two damage on eight is kind of. It's probably not going to help too not, much. Not so great. Uh, being said though, it does give you the three draw, right? And uh, one thing I found was really good when I was playing Satan is is dropping the uh, the one mana draw amulet. Um, Sacredly, so you can draw at the appropriate. Uh, what is it like? Two, two turns before, right? So that yeah. it draws two Satan cards when you play Satan on ten, right? Draw, yeah. and that that increased my win, uh, my success like a lot. I think just having the the three Satan cards instead of just the one. Uh, really, but you can only ever play one per turn, anyways. Yeah, and you play—you get to play the right one if you draw three, right? Yeah. I so guess. that's and that's kind of what this gives you all in one, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'd say it has potential, but I don't know what you'd build around it. Well, it just feels like an like an alternative to Satan, right? It's like like kind of the same thing. Yeah, and I mean you could essentially get the cards faster than the Satan deck would, right? It's just well that right. actually leads. I mean, to I guess you can like yeah, to. you can you can like dogma this card, and then all of a sudden you're like yeah. You Power can probably three, on yeah. turn nine. You can on turn nine, this, you can dogma it. So and then play a Satan card, which is like pretty powerful, right? Pretty powerful, right? Yeah, that does seem pretty good actually. Yeah, you having still have cards on turn nine rather than turn eleven. You still have seven mana, right? Yeah. yeah, that seems quite good, actually. Well, we'll see. I don't think you would have played more than one of this card, though. Hmm. Like having a bunch of like, like two damage to all followers on <laughs> but turn you eight can... is kind of nothing. Yeah, it's kind of nothing. Is it better right, than right, six right, six? The next card. <laughs> Yeah, I'd rather have a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah. 
Uh, this card's this card's money. I Six this mana, three five. Banish an enemy follower three defense or less. Draw a card. So you get kind of the cudgel evolve effect. Yeah, you and... get to cudge him up, man. And you also draw and a card. You get a card. That's a, that's a really important keyword, I think. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, that seems really strong. Because it doesn't even cost an evolve. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, at a minimum, a three for one? Yeah, this card is bigger. VG. It's quite expensive I... for the stats, obviously, but... I feel like yeah, it's worth it, right? Still, it's worth it, yeah. It's like whatever. It's somewhat conditional with the three defense for less turn six, but you can probably get that on their ev their damaged evolved creature, right? Yeah, you can. Af yeah, after they evolve it. and trade into That's something, curious. they'll likely have three defense or less, and then you can get the advantage without spending an evolve point with this card. I think. Yeah, so, yeah, this card's good. Yeah, good. Good. Okay, three mana, and three, four. Such stats. But too bad. <laughs> Big downside. So every time you attack, <laughs> you deal two to a follower or your face. No bueno, man. It's kind of, uh, where, where, where'd you play this thing? I mean, it's kind of think... nice that it's three mana for a three, four. But aside from that, I mean, this whenever it attacks thing is restricted. Can we give it ward? I mean, you can Guardian Sun it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That would be that would be pretty value. You just turn never two, attack. Turn guess, two Guardian I guess Sun. If, turn I mean, I guess if three you can, you don't ever have to. If you do, if you can just like turn two, turn three to this, and then what else are you gonna play to on attack. turn three? Right? I don't know. There's stuff you play like. I don't even know. I mean, this would I mean, be very good after a Guardian Sun. But, I mean... Temple Defender? Yeah, Temple Defender. Temple Defender. But a lot of the time, you don't have Guardian Sun, right? In your early draw. So you're playing, like, like Prism Precess to, like, get it or something, right? But, I mean, isn't this strictly better than Temple Defender? Strictly better? Not, I don't think it's no, strictly, it's not strictly better. better. Well, I mean, 3-4 versus a 2-2? Two -two? But if you look at the stats, if you look at just down? the stats and not any of the words that not any of the, the abilities. <laughs> well, no, I am looking at the. Look, if you play all. Guardian Sun on turn two, then this is better. For sure. Careful. I don't know. Would this actually replace Temple Defenders? Really it needs. I mean, it kind of needs to get Ward. I think. Because yeah. like, even if you kill a two attack minion with this, you're not really saving yourself, right? So, I think this is very well. I think it's, it's kind of. I mean, you gotta. Uh, uh, like I could see it, whatever. some kind of combo with Guardian Sun, but it's conditional, right? You have to have Guardian Sun down. And I mean, in like a purely defensive deck that doesn't ever look to attack, maybe this thing could be okay. Or I don't know. Or you can just attack sparingly. Then maybe it's all right. But yeah, it seems a little I'm unreliable. I'm pretty skeptical. Though I'm sacrificing skeptical. face damage has always been a thing, right? To get ahead, sacrifice life to get ahead. It's always a thing in these card games, but. I don't know about that one, because in Shadowverse your life is so low already. Yeah. Okay. Six mana, four, four. Rush. Subtract one from the countdown of all allied amulets. Pretty expensive. A lot of, a lot of random text there. Um, so, this card is hoping that you have amulets down, right? And it's kind of killing something, buying time for your amulets to come up, and helping them along. Yeah, but it's six mana. Six mana's a lot. Yeah. I don't know. 
I think it's this is like a really good take two card, I think, but not particularly sold on it as a You'd have to have a lot of amulets down, I feel like. Yeah, there's already uh, other cards that do this effect. Yeah. You can play with some of the cheaper, like the three job, to do the same fanfare, right? Yeah, Master Siege. And that's probably better off than this rush. Yeah. 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 I'm right, not really on. feeling it. No. All right, five mana, three, five, ward. Um, if it's alone, then it's a four, five, and it has spell immunity. Okay. That's not so bad. That's pretty good. There's a good chance it'll be alone, right? Um, I mean, what other five drops? Oh, what is uh, is he even have? Like, what will this uh, actually fill in? Well, five drops is like that, that heal, draw a card dude, right? Isn't it also the lion? Yeah. Ancient lion. Lion spirit. The problem I was having with playing cudgels and lion spirits is that you just need all your evolves for everything, right? And, like, if you play cudgels and lion spirits, like, you don't have enough evolve for all that stuff, right? And you end up playing a bunch of them without Evolve, which is pretty average. And you also have the Radiance Angel, which I had some success with. But um, this seems better than Radiance Angel. Nah, man. Radiance Angel draws a card. No yeah, it draws, it draws a card, card. but... like, <laughs> That's, if they, that's if you're getting better than this If card. you're getting beat down, like... 4-5 ward. It's really nice. Although, this heals you too. Yeah. Just 5 mana 2-4 just feels bad, but it definitely was better than I expected. So, like, I feel like these two are in, in direct competition, right? I think we're doing... I think... You, it replaces itself, and that's like already like a huge advantage. It's like a huge thing. I don't think. I don't care. It's not even like. Yeah, it's like quite a bit more stats, but. Or rather, the card. Like when you're playing Haven, it's like how 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 much of a sweat are you against? The, you have like so many wards already. It's like whatever. I'd rather have the card. Yeah. I don't think it's 100% black and white, right? But Radiant Sagel does seem slightly better. You get the yeah. deal and the card. Yeah. I feel like this card is pretty good, but it's just uh, that five cost is like there's already a lot of stuff there to choose from. Yeah, Lion Spirit and Radiant Angel. Crowded. I'm pretty sure both Lion Spirit and Radiant Angel are better than this card. Okay. I don't think you want to play that many five drops. Four mana amulet, countdown two. At the end of your turn, deal two damage to random enemy follower. And lock it down. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's annoying. It's, it's pretty expensive, though. Does it twice, though? Four mana is kind of expensive. Yeah. I guess it does, like, two damage. I guess you could play it into like a Bahamut or something and they're like, oh, I can't attack it. Does it twice, right? Yeah. I don't know. Play it into Bahamut. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I could think of. So comparing this to Tribunal, what do you think? I mean... Well, Tribunal's probably... Tribunal's Probably better. as in almost certainly better. <laughs> yeah, even if it is random enemy, it's still still better. Yeah. Yeah, I like Tribunal more than this card. Yeah, me too. Alright. Kill. Two drop. 
two two. Um, right, Ilana's synergy. There we go. Well, I wouldn't say it's Ilana's synergy. It's just synergy with heals, but I think it plays well with Ilana just because Ilana's like actively looking to heal its own minions. So yeah, yeah. Um, doesn't feel like this is really what Ilana decks are looking for, right? Because they're not really trying to put on face damage. They'd rather have like more board control than face damage, right? Um, but the thing is, they can like turn the corner, and I think that this kind of just lets them do that better. Like... Yeah, it, there's not enough. I'm not seeing enough of these cards to open up a full-on archetype. That's like an aggressive haven. But yeah, I, mean... <laughs> I think you could play like some of this card. Well, you mean other than Stormhaven, and... right? Stormhaven. And like I don't know, this maybe you could just play this and you can get like random heals here and there, and then it's just like good. Um, I just don't know. I think it's nice to have cheap cards that have synergy with the heals because you know El Elana's is better with the more creatures you have, right? So playing more cheaper cards, you get a better bonus, and then this is kind of just icing on the on that cake, right? That's what I feel like. Delicious cake. Yep. Um, still a two mana two two. It's not too much of a commitment there. Yep. Okay. They purely heal. <laughs> um. So a targeted a targeted two heal, or an enhanced heal everything. It was the face, um, which is kind of nice. I don't know. I'm not um, number one. It feels, mediocre. feels too yeah. expensive, right? Yeah, it's a bit pricey for... And healing like... allies just doesn't really seem to be as useful in Shadowverse for, for some reason. Uh, well, I mean, it is in Alana's prayer. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's just the stats are kind of ma, kind of meh. Yeah. Can't say that. It's you not inspiring a lot of confidence on turn four playing a three three. I mean, if you have Alana's, I guess it's a four four, right? But I kind of wish it was a bit more for six. Yeah, don't really like the enhance. Okay. Octo Bishop. <laughs> what is this? What is this card? What is this art? What Octo is this flavor? <laughs> this the is kind of cool with the one dude, prayer, actually. It's like, it's just like being ripped apart by a tentacle. It's actually pretty cool with a lot of pair, isn't it? Don't you think? And you get it at the end of your oh, turn. Davy Jones. Oh, never mind. Completely. Never mind. No. I thought this. I thought <laughs> it was to this. I thought it was to a something. Never mind. My yeah. mistake. So basically, this thing. Davy Jones. This thing oh, can't what? can't be. <laughs> True. damaged kind of right like it kind of just always heals itself to full at the end of your turn oh yeah it's like moon all mirage that's right it's like moon um i think this card is pretty pretty it does not seem very good <laughs> seems really good to take two like i don't know this is a really great card to evolve yeah yeah true or something it reminds me if of that it, other. Uh, if one it that... survives, it can snowball, right? Yeah, man. But, what is yeah, that other card? Like a platinum has storm restores? I think that's sword, though. I don't know. Okay, three mana amulet. <laughs> Wait, what? Card's garbage. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm sorry, this card is terrible. Three mana? Forget it. Forget about it. To do what? What is it? To, to, is it to take the beast? Okay, it games. stays in play forever, right? And it just subtracts one from every amulet you play. I don't know. I don't think I'll... I'm not a Haven player, but I don't think Haven wants to play a card like this. Like... What if you play it this with that Satan thing? Um, okay. Sure. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's I mean, still you could, but so it's lackluster, like... though. Yeah. This, thing, this thing is three mana, and it's like, it's just like such a dead card if you, like, I don't know. Plus, like, if you have that, 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 that thing that tutors your amulets, you don't want to water it down with this card. Like, holy crap. Alright, would you play this in take two? Not no, if, not if, not if I don't could avoid it. I, are you kidding me? <laughs> For I would sure. never want to take this card and take two. Move on. This card's yeah, crap. Not really feeling it. Okay. Another two drop. So a targeted spell immunity. Similar to Ghost Hound, right? Uh, Ghost Hound. Yeah. So, what does Haven play that needs immunity? I mean, is there anything specific? Yeah. I mean, if you could give, like, Seraph immunity, that'd be kind of sweet, but... <laughs> but alas, it cannot. Don't know if... I mean, I play... Uh, I used to play Ghost Hound to... Just to block my Mordecai yeah, from getting Odin, right? But uh, what does Haven need this for? I can give. I'll, tell, I'll give you something easy. Nothing. This card is kind of bad. All those really. <laughs> like it is. It's just give it. It's very conditional, right? It's like, yeah, you know, what are like... you, what are you teching this in to prevent, right? It feels, feels very arbitrary to just tech this in because a lot of the time it's not gonna. See its fruition, right? Okay. It's just, it's just kind of bad. All right, neutrals. Zeus, ten mana, five ten. Storm Bane Ward. Storm Bane Ward. I think I'm, I'm, I think this card's a little underrated. I, I hear a lot of flag people say this card's underwhelming, but honestly, those are those are some good, those are some key, some good keywords, and. uh I don't know. I just think people are, are I mean, just storm. Kind of storm and Bane bit. are kind of conflicting. But I, I like, wish are you thing... gonna hit face with this or kill a creature? Like it's very flexible yeah. in that way. I really wish this was a, a five fourteen. Then it can survive the haunt. <laughs> then it can survive. The <laughs> no, seriously. Like otherwise, it's kind of like well. Why why give it all this stuff, right? Right, so this like, or this or Bahamut, It's a nice right? toolbox because it does a lot of different things, but for ten, like I don't know. Because anything well, the thing is when Bahama comes into play, it's gonna like kill it. Like why does it need to have defense of thirteen? Like So that it survives. Survives what? The the fanfare of Bahamut? Well, if they have a Bahamut on board, you could just play Bahamut instead of this, right? Which would be better. We could play Bahamut. You can a just lot of kill the time. It too. You play Bahamut. Yeah. Like this is better because it has ward. Yeah. Right. So you can. I think that's a. I mean, good reason. I mean, if if you're in the very late game, right, and it's like kind of a close game, you play this, you hit his face for five, and you have a ten ward on on the board, like. That's yeah, yeah. it's tough to deal with. That's pretty good, right? Um, this is the synergy with Sahakwil. Is Sahakwil is coming to play. Yeah, I think this one is a little bit underrated. Like, I'm I'm not saying it's insane, but I think it's underrated. I think pe I think Sahakuil. this could we'll see some play. But Lucifer's better, right? Because you get There's the a heal. different purpose. Like, it's not better. Like, why not just run? Both. Like I would run both. <laughs> like you run, run Bahamut as well. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I, okay, you just run them all. We're all not these. I don't know. I think it's greedy dragon decks. 
<laughs> but the, I don't know. There's a lot of tools this set to make dragons so much stronger in the, like handling aggro decks. I don't know. I think this card pretty good. I like it. I hope I open some just so I don't have to craft them. <laughs> I think it's okay, but. Yeah, me I too. don't think it's like ultra high power level. Yeah, it's not Bahamut. like there's other like Bahamut's like the bar, right? Yeah, it's like ten mana. Oh. Like Bahamut and like Satan are like two for like ten cost. Yeah, yeah, and this thing is not Bahamut, and this thing's not Satan, but it's like if like Bahamut's a ten, this thing's like a, a seven point five or yeah. But or I mean, like even a... comparing this to like Heavenly Aegis, kind of like I think this is good against Aegis. It's the kind of card I want to play against Aegis. <laughs> it buys you a couple like, turns. Yeah. Buys gives you a couple like turns. Time, gives you yeah. some time and also lets me like race him. Like does everything you want to do with Aegis. Sure. It's better than Bahamut against Aegis, right? Yeah, Bahamut does <laughs> shit all against Aegis. <laughs> That's a valid point. Yeah. Yeah. You can have Sahak Wheel. Nine mana, eight eight. Restore four defense to your leader. Synergies, man. When it Synergies attacks, deal card. two damage to all enemies. Oh. This card's really good. Yeah, it's seems fine. So it buys nice. you time and kind of clears the board. Well, Sahaku, you can get the rush. You won't get the heal, but you'll get the the clear, which I think is really right. Mm -hmm. That's uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. Though it is two damage, like on a pretty late turn, still, but you get the attack. So yeah, that's so you can hit it on seven. That's the thing, and you give even earlier because you have dragon. It's like dragon has ramp, so you can get like a turn five to hawk wheel, and then you freaking play the, hit this thing with it. Pretty insane. Yeah, it's pretty scary. Like that's gonna be a board clear, right? It's, yeah, sometimes. Probably. Yeah. Like yeah. you hit something for ten and everything else for two. Is that how that works, right? So you hit something for eight. Why would you hit for ten? Because you deal two damage. Oh yeah, yeah, right. Damn, you hit it for ten. All enemies too. Isn't that to the face as well? Where they bond? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's definitely a big hit to their board. I don't know yeah. what can survive that. <laughs> hmm. Uh, yeah. This card, I think, is really good. It's a hot pool. Yeah, a lot of catch-up mechanisms. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Earthshock. Earthshock Ogre. Um, <laughs> this okay, I guess. Not, I not bad, for sure. Um, Eight mana. It's pretty expensive. If you're playing a mid-range deck that still hasn't evolved, and you're aggressive, like six damage to the face is still something. Um, I mean, yeah, it is something, but I just think eight mana is a lot. Eight mana is not mid range anymore, man. It mid range is like <laughs> this would top the curve of a mid range deck. This yeah. Is like a... Now this evolve, you can't, you can't target two guys, right? Oh, you can right for sure. You can. Yeah, you target. So you target yeah, one guy. You target one guy, and then you evolve yeah. it, and then you target another guy. I mean, yeah. that's pretty flexible. I feel like when I read that, it's all that damage is just going to go to the face. <laughs> Can't see people wasting that on creatures. You barely waste this on creatures. How dare you? Well, I mean, you got six like, damage swing after this, you evolve. This right? thing is a board clear a lot of the time, isn't it? If you evolve it, it'll kill like three creatures. Yeah. Yeah, that's like a lot of value. Good. It doesn't gain stats from the evolve either, though. Yeah, but it doesn't need it. It's a 6-6. Six, six, it's 6-6. Six, it's fine. It'll trade, and it won't die, usually. Right? I just think and... it's a bit expensive, but yeah, it's, this one does seem pretty powerful. <laughs> it seems like a really good take-two card. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's sure. a great take-two card. Yeah, a little bit expensive for constructed, right? And you're competing with, like, Lucifer and stuff like that, right? Okay. Let's 
7 mana, 4, 5. Um, heal something that has attacked this turn and let it attack again. Okay. Combo. I mean, there's some pretty interesting combos. Yeah, that is very interesting. <laughs> For a fanfare, yeah. Um, Though, you have to have something on board, right? So that's kind of a liability. Turn 6 play. Hmm. I mean, the seven slot here, you've got Sahak Wheel, right? And. Wait, what? In the seven mana slot, you have Sahak Wheel. So. Yeah. Like. What do you mean? And you have Gabriel, right? Like, this card is kind of like Gabriel, because Gabriel also needs another creature, right? Mm. But it's like, uh, Gabri yeah, but Gabriel it's, can Gabriel make... Gabriel buffs the creature. Yeah, Gabriel gives you one big hit, whereas this one gives you two smaller hits. Why is it two smaller hits? Like, you can do this with, like, another creature. Because it's, it's, it's an else. unbuffed hit, right? But you can do it with, like, a... Like, if you do it with something like a 7-7 a seven, seven or 9-9, nine, nine, it'd be more damage. Yeah. No, not more than Gabriel. It's smaller than Gabriel hit, is what I'm trying to say. What do you mean? This is two hits with someone. Like, if you if you give, like, Genesis... If you give, like, a 7... Like, Genesis Dragon, which is, like, a 7-9, it's 14 damage. Where if yeah, you give so Genesis it's... Dragon Gabriel, it's 11 damage. Okay, two smaller hits than Gabriel. Gabriel's one bigger hit. This is two smaller hits, right? Uh... <laughs> but it's like less damage so what does that mean yeah two smaller hits anyway the point is do you play this or gabriel or sahakwil right because that's what I, you're kind you of to... competing with right uh, i think these cards all function in a different manner completely yeah so like, i think like when... you can like there's i think this card has like i don't know there's some creatures that have triggers when they attack or Right, a triggers on attack would be very good with this, right? Yeah, or something that like it does feel better than Gabriel. And this thing to can, me, like, right? It could kill two creatures. I just think Gabriel funks, does something. It does something. Tr it's trying to do something different. Be real. I don't know this card. This card seems like you can like combo with something and then. Yeah, this like, feels this something. feels a little bit better than Gabriel, don't you think? Like a little bit more better in all all, all situations. Uh, yeah, maybe. I. It seems like an interesting ability. I'm just not sure what you'd actually use with it. But the best effect. but Sahakuel seems better than both of them, to me. Well, Sahakuel is the one that only the only one that really sees play in competitive yeah. matches out of, out of all of them. Yeah. Um Yeah, I don't like the requirement of having to have a creature in play because if you ever have yeah, to just, just play this raw, like like you just can't. It's just it's terrible. So, yeah. I'm not really a fan of things like this, though it I recognize that it can be very powerful. Yeah, okay. I agree. Mm. Oh, the war cycle. I think this card's really, really good. Yeah, I feel I, it's super uh, flexible. Ten mana is a lot, but they're like a really passable creature. Yeah, like. yeah. It's just solid, like early and late, right? Yeah, it's well rounded. I really like it. It's just crazy having all these like really strong neutral cards. Like, it's going to be really interesting to see where these get teched in, right? Like, this card could go in so many different control decks, right? All across the board, I feel like. I don't even think it has to go in control decks, but... It's one of those things, like, 
it, there's not that many times where an aggro deck gets to turn 10. But if it does, this is good early as well. Yeah, this card is super solid. Good card. <laughs> Alright. Goblins. Gobbos. <laughs> I mean, so that's what? Two ones and two one twos. So for a total of, of so it's a four, five. That's for five. And then when it dies, it gets the Goblin King, which I think is like a five, five ward for four. Yes. It's a lot of stats. So it's a lot of stats. I mean, so it's a four, five for five, which is basically average. Average, yeah. And then when it dies. Five, five king. ward for four is great, though. Like, it seems really good in like a swarm deck. You know, right. You, can, like, you want to buff these three things, right? You can play like the captain, the Wolfnir, or whatever his name is. There's the sword thing that gives everything plus one, plus two, plus two. That'd be really sweet. But again, I don't think you can rely on that. Or because these you... neutral only decks, right? Yeah. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Get the you know, is that penguin, right? Isn't that that penguin? Is that coming up? What's Whatever. that? This card's okay. I think this card's pretty solid. What's that uh, amulet in take two that we never want to <sighs> get? Fall through spear. <laughs> Wouldn't oh, that yeah, be good yeah. with this? Well, no, spear. <laughs> no, fall through spear. <laughs> Have I told you guys I lost that card one time? <laughs> really? Yeah. I was playing like, yeah, so I was playing like Gilgameshes and shit. And you just like, oh man, Gilgamesh always comes out of nowhere. <laughs> like he like Sahaku Gilgamesh me like three times. It's like insane. He like Sahaku Gilgamesh. He's like Sahaku Gilgamesh and then like Sahaku Gilgamesh and then plays in like another Gilgamesh. I was like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> okay. Ah, this guy. We're in a five five. Hell you. Yeah, so the neutral only. I mean <laughs> Neutral only. This card is insane if you have some neutral, neutral cards only, yeah. right like I mean, yeah. you're never not gonna play a four mana five five if you have 20 neutral cards or like 20 I like plus this, neutral I like the cards, name. Right? i used to think it was imperial strips but then i saw that it's impartial strix and i think that's really clever because he doesn't he doesn't choose sides well, he's <laughs> wearing a crown i mean because he's neutral <laughs> okay <laughs> What drives a man to neutrality? Mammoth. I don't know why you like this card so much. <laughs> the mammoth card? is the six seven, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Boulder fist. Boulder fist mammoth. <laughs> yeah, this. <laughs> Wait, who likes this card? This card's I, like. Fine. I don't know. I don't know if I really like this card. Like You're obviously, really... it's good value. Um, I don't. I don't feel like I'd ever play this in turn three, though. I feel like this would be a turn ten play, right? I mean, you play a seven yeah. drop. You play this and a seven play, drop you just on play turn a ten. Turn three, and then like I don't know, you play dragon, you ramp up. This is yeah. such a weak turn three, though. Like not bad for dragon ramp. <sighs> well, I mean. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty weak turn three. There's nothing you can say about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know. I feel like get out here. I need you. I don't. I don't I think anyone's gonna play this unless um, it's like a neutral only deck or something, right? No, there's one other way, and that's destroying it. Oh, you can see it. <laughs> you sculpting it. There's a couple of different ways. <laughs> I mean, as far as amulets go. This amulet is definitely the top end of the power scale, right? Arguably. Six seven? Yeah, pretty much. I mean I think I think the top end is Seraph. Seraph? So yeah. Like, well, this to Seraph. <laughs> like it's not it's not better than Seraph. <laughs> it's not more top end than winning the game, but <laughs> it's definitely up there for amulets, right? Yeah. So I don't know. Like, there's a lot of better amulets in this card. <laughs> yeah, there's a I'm lot not, of worse. No, no, no I'm not saying. Like, I'm not is, saying is better than better. Sacred, I, no, I'm not saying better amulets. I'm saying when the amulet 
executes, the effect is stronger, right? So if you have a good way of destroying it, like this effect really is really good, right? You can't hurt this thing, right? I think that's only following. No, you can't hurt it. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know if that would even be good, but... What? Turn 3, turn 4? Come on, that'd be sick. Yeah. <laughs> There's still ambulance. <laughs> yeah, but you, like, earned this? I think if you earned it, it'd be pretty good. Dang, you've got yeah, a soul. That would def that'd be yeah, good. you're right. If only. I'm just gonna change the text. <laughs> there you go. Alright. <laughs> change the text a little bit. Next card. Okay. Alright, 2 drop, 2-2. Two, two. An evolve effect. Um, all right, Jeff, take this one. <laughs> what? This card? I think this card is... I think this card is pretty good. I think I like how it kind of like... It's kind of like a... a like a anti... I mean, it just kind of gets rid of the effects that good, right? Like, it gets rid of necromancy stuff, bad bears. It's like, I like, I kind of always like cards like this. It's like kind of like a tech card. It's kind of like, yeah. In Magic, there's a card called Pithing Needle that's like, that you can stop the effects of certain cards. It's just. Yeah, but there's no point to, to actually sideboarding, though. Like, there is no, like, sideboard between matches. I mean, I could see this as like a sideboard card. It's kind of like that. But to play it main board? Like in your main deck? Maybe in like the neutral deck. <laughs> <laughs> so this yeah, is a... I don't know. This is... I feel like this is a very high level of play card, right? Because like, you have to know what your opponent's game plan is. And you can play this to screw it up. Right? Like... Yeah. Like you wouldn't play this at, at low rank because... You're not really, it's not really that tight. You're not really that tuned in. Like this card has to be played when you're really tuned in to what your opponent's trying to do, right? And then you you block them just on that crucial turn when they're gonna do their thing. You block them. It's right? an evolve though, which I think is pretty. Yeah, pretty it's expensive. very <laughs> very niche yeah. kind of thing. You're you're definitely paying a lot to do it, though. I mean, obviously, in the right situation, it could pay off, but like you'd really have to really know what you're doing to gamble that, right? Because you're losing stats in the evolve too. It's like, yeah. Yeah, man, you're losing stats. Period. I don't know how you lost to this character either. Like, <laughs> a ward, uh, give it a magic immunity. Well, if the enemy's board was clear, they would have to use like a spell or something to remove it, right? So they couldn't play their Daria. What wasn't right? there that two cost that gives magic immunity? <laughs> That's I think that was the uh, that was the other that was a Haven card. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, I mean, I guess you could Haven, play it. This yes. is neutral, but I feel like this card has some interesting application. Like it, could, it, it's a very rarely to be seen card, right? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. I would not think they would, you know, print a card like this. We'll but if you play surprise. it, if you play it just right, it could win you the game, right? Yeah, I think so. I, yeah. I agree. Okay, three mana, two three, enhanced sinks gain three three. So six mana, five six. Uh, not much to say here. <laughs> right? Six pretty mana, vanilla. Five, six. <laughs> Very vanilla. Here's your white like, pretty, It's like fine, whatever. It's yeah. Just like, yeah, it's just fine. stats. Super vanilla. Yeah. It's not. This card? Nothing special. Card it could be could be a sleeper. I don't know. I feel like. Really interesting. You can do some. It's like some defensive stuff you can do. So it gives know. everything ward, kind of? Yeah, kind of, yeah. In theory, for yes. two turns. Yeah. Not terrible, um, right? Yeah. And a neutral card. It's very interesting. Yeah, it's an 
Interesting, neutral, and... <laughs> it's, if it's cooldown though, it's got countdown, but... Yeah. I mean, like, let's say it was like an aggro deck versus an aggro deck. Like, you throw this down, and they're forced to have to hit your stuff on the board you're also to kill you. To, you're also forced Yeah, if you're playing as an aggro deck, idiot. I mean, you get in like a... It'd be good in like a like a shadowcraft deck, right? Where they, they have to attack your <laughs> your <course>. lurching course. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like a or the or the one that. one that turns into a four four. Yeah, yeah. that yeah. that's very true. That could be um, <laughs> interesting when it's control versus control. Though I don't know. No, this card is shit if it's control versus control. Yeah. See, the thing is, I think it's really important when you look at cards like this. It's like if you're like, oh man, this card just crushes aggro, but then you have to realize like aggro is still only like a percentage of the of the field right they're still like mid-range and they're still control decks and this card is just a dead card against control think of, think of, wow you're like, think how embarrassing it is you're like, you're like a turn eight or turn <laughs> like and you're just like you top deck this card it's just like god damn it well i guess that might not be terrible because well this is like, the thing it's like they play bahamut you play this yeah, and a one one yeah, and they're just like looking at it like really <laughs> i gotta hit the one one <laughs> like yeah it's true it's true actually that's a good point okay but <laughs> But yeah, this is so. Pretty... This is just feels. It feels too situational. It's a for me, narrow. right? Yeah, it's not it's flexible enough. Yeah, like consistency. Yeah, flexibility, hallmarks of good cards. Yeah, and it's an interesting card. I kind of wish the cooldown was a bit more. Yeah, if the cooldown was a bit more, it'd <laughs> definitely more. be more flexible. But yeah, it feels like three or four. I think it would be three interesting mana. for some kind of archetype. Three mana is a lot too. We mana ain't cheap. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, it's very expensive. interesting, but I, I don't really... I'm not really excited about trying this. In a... Yeah, <laughs> me either. I like the art, though. It's pretty... Uh... Yeah. Look at that angel. What a crazy-looking angel, man. Okay. Who's winning that? Oh, well, Owl Cat. Best card in the set. I just love the art. I feel they didn't need to make the owl so fuzzy in the evolve. I feel like they didn't need to make this card, period. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, this card's That's awesome. Blasphemy. That's blasphemy. You can't, you can't talk down about this card. Everyone wants this talk... Everyone wants this flare Everybody on the forum. Everyone wants to the shit out of this card. <laughs> um, okay. So compare this to a white 2-2. Right? So... If a 1-2 attacks you, you kill it without dying, right? Yeah. How many 1-2s, um, though, are there in the world, though? Not that many. But it's kind of like this thing has 2 health, because you can't die to 1 attack, right? Yeah. So, kind of. But it also can kill stuff like 1-4s. Right. And this yeah, all upside. Not, uh, sparkle. <laughs> and it and it still trades with two twos. So it's better than a white two two, isn't that wouldn't you say? Yeah. I know there's like a neutral two two that's definitely worse than us. I mean it's weak against like Aang from like Angel, stuff like that. I mean yeah. it's not bad. But, like, but it kind of just like, doesn't have an effect, drop. right? Like, a lot of two mana tutus have an extra effect, like Unica. And I would just never play this in Constructed, man. Yeah, I would rather play Unica than this. Because it's kind of just better in almost every situation, except against Spartois and those 1-4s, right? But again, you just it's too, too niche, right? Mm -hmm. You can't target that kind of thing. I want to take two. Yeah. Right. Okay. Pretty good in take two. Yeah, almost. <laughs> almost. No, it's yeah, it, it's playable. Bomb. It's definitely playable. This card is also definitely a bomb. Playable. Why? Why do they put these kind <laughs> of neutral followers? Because it's so neutral. <laughs> so okay, wise. if you have if you have a huge amount of neutral followers, do you play this? No, it's a one-one. <laughs> one, one. Yeah, 
just not good. Oh, this card is so... It is so not good enough. Yeah. Not feeling it. As you shouldn't okay. feel it. Goblin Nobody King. should be feeling, feeling him. He's good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can't get him. He's not a real card. All right, that's it. Yeah. Sweet.